Today, we finally learned what project the LEGO Ideas team would bring us from the packed lineup of 39 qualifying sets from the first round of 2022. This round truly had some amazing projects to the point that I don't know if the LEGO Ideas team could really make a bad selection, especially since they decided to do something this round that truly surprised me and which many of us have been clamoring for for some time. So let's go over their selections and I'll tell you what I'm very much happy with and what I'm still extremely worried about. Today's biggest surprise was that the LEGO Ideas team did something that we here in the LEGO community have been asking for for some time. With so many LEGO Ideas projects qualifying every round, just pick more than one. Well, today they did just that. We didn't just get one qualifying project, but four. Now I know the LEGO community will never be in complete agreement as to what selection the LEGO Ideas team go with. However, in this round, I actually think they went with the right approach in their selections, as each individual idea encompasses a different pricing tier. Granted, that's assuming one huge detail, that the LEGO designers stick closely with the actual design which the fans voted on. Unfortunately, LEGO doesn't have the greatest track record in doing so. The first selection is LEGO Insects, created by fan designer Jose Maria, consisting of five different insect models. The Blue Morpho Mutterfly, Hercules Beetle, Asian Ladybug, Western Honeybee, and lastly, the Praying Mantis. Definitely my favorite out of the five. Now this build is on the smaller side and has no IP, which the LEGO Ideas theme desperately needs more of. Now, if the LEGO designers stick with this scale and piece count, this adorable little set should be priced around $50 and would pair nicely in my ad with all those botanical sets. Now the next idea that qualified is the Polaroid One Step SX70. I believe with the popularity of the LEGO Ideas typewriter, the LEGO Ideas team made a safe selection picking the Polaroid camera. Designed by Mini Brick Productions, this near to scale model consists of 538 pieces and features some epic details, such as a spin gear that imitates developing film and actually ejects a brick built photo. Plus, the set even has a viewfinder that can actually be used as intended and goes through the entire length of the camera. Now, when I posted the news on my Instagram of all the projects that made it, this Polaroid camera definitely was one of the fan favorites. Funny enough, if you actually wanna get your hands on a Lego Polaroid instant camera now and not wait like a year or two, Brick Builders has a life-size instant camera designed by Ian Summers that is nearly identical to this Lego idea set. It also has many of the same features and close to the piece count. Link in the description below if you'd like to take a closer look at that. Now the next two sets that qualified are right up my alley. If you've been following me for any time at all, my favorite LEGO themes are space and trains. And what are the last two? Space and a train. However, because I love these two themes, it worries me that LEGO designers might destroy, or be a little bit more kind, might ruin the design set by the original builders. Let's first review the Tales of the Space Age by John Carter. Now, I actually remember when I first saw these posted on the LEGO Idea site. I needed them instantly. These sets are absolutely stunning. I love the clever use of Lego bricks used to convey movement and the minimalist design. These three unique builds also have a wonderful color palette, and I can't really see these designs being improved upon. Now, I sure hope whichever designer that has the task of making these into an official Lego set does so with care and has reference to the original design. The next one is for you Lego train fans, and that's me included. And it's the set I'm most worried about, actually. The Orient Express Legendary Train designed by Let's Go. This was a set I didn't think had much of a chance to get picked. Now, if I had to pick a LEGO Train idea set that LEGO Ideas team would select in this round, my bet was gonna be on the Polar Express. Regardless, I'm not disappointed. This is a beautiful, legendary train with stunning color scheme. Green train engines just look so good. What's worrying me is that LEGO will try to go the way of the Hogwarts Express design and solely focus on making this a display piece, a large display piece, should I say, trying to increase the cost to that $500 price tag, which would be completely ignoring what the original designer states was the vision and purpose for the set. The builder, Let's Go, states, I wanted to add my own and create the Crocodile LEGO Creator locomotive. So that would make this Orient Express eight studs across and not 10. Now, the only hope that I have that LEGO will make this a train set that train collectors would want is the utter sales failure of the Hogwarts Express 
and the fact that they didn't go with the route of the Polar Express, which I think would carry a heavier IP burden to the retail price. Overall, I like the selections the LEGO IDs team went with this round. I'm just hoping the LEGO designers will understand why these projects earned 10,000 votes to begin with. Stay as true to the original design as possible. Later.